Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Detective Comics, issue number 1016. It's a good book. It's going to finish out that Nora Freeze thing, the Mrs. Freeze story. Does she die? Does she die? I'm going to tell you five things about the comic book. Maybe that's one of them. Either way, we're going to be talking first about who made this book. We're going to get started right now. We've got In Cold Blood, the Cold Dark World finale. Peter J. Tomasi on the story and words. Dud Mankey on, and Tyler Kirkham on pencils. Okay, a bunch of people in inks here. Christian Almy, Keith Champagne, Mark Irwin, and Tyler Kirkham. Uh, David Barron on colors, Rob Lay on letters, and Mankey and Barron doing the cover with Kari Andrews doing the variant cover. Batman was created by Bill Finger. Uh, Bob Kane who? <laughs> Let's get talking about number one on this list, and that is Freeze is dead to Nora. Mr. Freeze. Victor Freeze. He dead. Dead in her heart. He don't exist as far as she's concerned. Well, she kind of does. It's not too much she can do about it. Well, she can kill him. Does she? Well, there's a very interesting ending. Let's get talking about number two on this list. It's not her fault. Everything that's happening to her, remember I kept on saying, she's a B. Oh no, she was bad from the beginning. Oh, she's all bad, all bad, all right? Now, as it turns out, she just can't get right. As a good life mentioning right there. Go check out that movie if you forgot it. <laughs> but she can't get right, and it's not her fault, all right? This has nothing to do with her. It's, excuse me, it's actually Victor's fault. That's really messed up. That being said, he just can't quit her. There's another movie reference there. Can't quit her, dude, because, like, that's his girl. He loves her, not just lust. He loves this girl, but she don't love him back. She's just not that into him. Dude, I'm just throwing out the references, right? That means, well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what that means when we get into number three on this list, and that is, the story can continue. This really isn't her fault. She had this stuff happen to her. And that means that Victor Freeze can still be on the hunt to find the cure for Nora, just a different cure. It doesn't have to thaw her out and free her from the disease. Now she's free from the disease, but there's something else eating away at her. And he's responsible for that. And now he gets to continue trying to find out the answer, trying to solve that dilemma, trying to fix what went wrong, what he did. <coughs> That's some damn good storytelling, I'm just saying, man. It's a change, yet there's no real change at all that's going to piss anybody off necessarily. I love that. The story continues. Let's get to about number four on this list, and that is the Gotham Museum of Art. Really? This is the Metropolitan Museum of Art, man. And of all things to change, like the Metropolitan as opposed to the Metropolis, like it's in the name, baby, it's in the name. That being said, this is the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I don't care you call it Gotham or what, all right? The the Little Dancer, all right? The, uh, the Temple of Dendar. This stuff is actually in the Met. You can go there right now. It's there, all right? They're really cool exhibits, especially the Temple of Dendar, as far as I'm concerned. You actually go in this authentic Egyptian temple and whatnot. It's so cool. It's so cool. Get the pictures taken. Go in there with, like, some cosplay or something like that. A Zen Saban Noor. I'm just saying, bro, it, like, the story writes itself. So that's really cool. That's really cool. Dig on that. I love it when they combine the real world with the fake world. It's like, no, 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 this stuff is real. It's just in this city instead of the real city. It's in uh, New York City. Anyway, finally, let's talk about number five on this list, and that is uh, Rhapsody in Blue. She, Nora, at one point goes and takes out a, a security guard, and she's like, yeah, 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 I'm going to call you Rhapsody in Blue. There's actually already a Rhapsody in Blue. See, I'm that knucklehead that's like, I've heard that before. I look it up. Turns out it's a song. George Gershwin. I've heard of him. Never actually listened to him before. I listened to his song, Rhapsody in Blue. All right. So I get it. Peter J. Tomasi is not just writing awesome comic books. He's also educating us heathens. All right. I love it, man. We're going to take down those barbarians at the gates of Rome, baby, because we are getting cultured. That's what I'm talking about. So go check out your local uh, museum. Hey, if you're going to be going to the Met, unless things have changed, you don't actually have to pay to get in. But the museum uh, people who like help you out, the ushers and whatnot, they don't want to actually help you out if you don't have a little badge that says that you paid for your ticket. I'm just saying. You, but our tax dollars say you can go in for free. Just saying. Give him a tip. Give him something, man. It's like seven bucks, right? Anyway, this was a really good, <laughs> really good comic book. Go and check it out. Get a good uh, education. Get a little cultured and enjoy a good comic book. I'm done. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.